I'm back in Amsterdam and it's a Sunday today. It's such a beautiful day. It's like 26 degrees outside and I'm about to go to the um, Vondel Park with Moana. I'm super excited. We're gonna do a little picnic together. I already picked up some stuff from the grocery store, which I have in here. <laughs> and she's also bringing some stuff. I'm ready to go. Just need to put on the body spray. You know the Sol de Janeiro spray? Like I hate it when you spray it, like when you first spray it, but I love the scent when it like sets in after a while. Like when you just put it on your body, I feel like it smells very synthetic and like very artificial. But yesterday I was sitting down and I was like smelling my arm and I was like, what smells so good? Like it smells like vanilla. <coughs> that was not smart. And then I remembered that I put on <laughs> also a quick little outfit check i'm wearing like my summer uniform or spring uniform i love these kind of outfits when the weather allows it just jeans birkenstocks and a tank so this one is really old from stardivarius these are from mango these are like my favorite jeans they're so comfy and i sized them up a little so that they have like a baggy fit and then i'm just wearing these birkenstocks and that's actually all this bag is from Macho Mafia, the other one is from American Apparel. I know. <laughs> Moana made my absolute favorite salad. It's a bit like zeg je dat mush now, but it tastes amazing. Mushy salad. Mushy. <laughs> Stunning. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description. Are you gonna share it with me? <laughs> it's not mine. Oh. <laughs> so and then we also have some snacks. We have some fruit, hummus, some Lebanese bread. Oh. It's echt lekker. We got a spicy hummus. We're trying this one for the first time. The spicy mango hummus. And that's our dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. On, on my pillowcase, on my pillowcase, giving you a taste. But today we're going to be showing something different, not just the sauna, which I am about to take with my sister. It's ready for us. So excited to hop in. <laughs> but the fun part, or I don't know what I would call it fun, is the ice bath that we're going to take afterwards. So yeah, first the sauna, then the ice bath. I'm looking more forward to the sauna, but the ice bath is going to feel so great afterwards. So yeah. How do we feel? Detoxified. <laughs> You and the angles, thank you. back from the gym and I'm about to make some breakfast but I wanted to quickly talk about the particular breakfast that I've been having lately because I was listening to a podcast the other day by Big Glucose Goddess and she 
talked about the importance of having a savory breakfast and having a high protein breakfast and whilst I always kind of knew that it is good for you I didn't really understand the exact reasons but um, I'll definitely link the podcast in the description because I can highly recommend you to listen to it She has so many like helpful and insightful tips and her tips don't have anything to do with restriction They're just like a different way of eating that can really help you to maintain like normal glucose levels And you might think like okay, what does that have to do with me? I don't have diabetes or anything Trust me this stuff is so much more important than you think and the reason why i wanted to talk about it is because in the past i've often experienced like anxiety throughout the day and i would get like these jittery feelings my hands would get shaky and th those were also the times in which i oftentimes had sweet breakfast or breakfast that were not filling enough and ever since i kind of switched to savory breakfasts and really made sure to include a lot of protein in my breakfast i kid you not my concentration is so much better i don't get hungry as fast especially like on days in which you might have an exam or when you know that you have a busy day and you might not get the opportunity to eat lunch very early on then i can really recommend it so i'm going to make one of my favorite breakfasts right now which is like a little breakfast plate i guess you could say i've always been a fan of balanced breakfasts so what i'm going to make is some scrambled eggs salmon arugula and add some cucumber to it i love this combination because salmon obviously is a good source of protein as well as eggs and then i just love always adding some greens to my breakfast i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to make i also wanted to talk about the salmon that i'm using because i'm using wild salmon it's always a bit difficult with fish you know because like yes fish is super healthy but then also our oceans are full of plastic and a lot of the fish that are not wild caught um are injected with antibiotics so <laughs> i usually get wild salmon it has a different taste than the regular salmon like a slightly different one but um i really prefer this so this specific salmon is a sockeye wild salmon they harvest this one in alaska and it's like a small fisher group I'll also make sure that they harvest the salmon in a sustainable way you know i personally really value those things so if you also live in the netherlands and have been looking for a good brand of salmon um this is the brand that i use by the way i'm also going to put more of the benefits of eating a savory breakfast on the screen because like for me these were the main reasons of why i've like mostly switched to savory breakfast but um, also my sister for example said that she doesn't get headaches as often as she used to when she eats like a savory like well-balanced high protein breakfast and there's so many other benefits to it i just like those are the things that came to mind and those are the things that i personally like struggled with and was able to solve by having a savory breakfast but yeah if you have the time to give the podcast a listen i can really recommend it and there's also another podcast that i listened to the other day which was about the relation uh which was about brain health and also the impact of exercise on brain health um how it can um reduce dementia all these different things and also how to improve your memory like it was so interesting because i feel like we don't talk about our brains that often so i'm also going to link that podcast below it was an episode by um the diary of a ceo it was with a neuroscientist and it was this episode but i also put it in the description for you guys but this was also such an interesting lesson. I've been loving to just like expand my knowledge about health related topics because I'm obviously studying business so I don't learn this shit at uni. And I think it's also just important to know the why behind your habits. You know, like you often hear, okay, it is important to eat healthy. You hear that it's good to eat protein. You hear that it's important to exercise. But like, I think that if you really know the why behind your actions, it's so much easier to stay consistent with them and to have more motivation to do that because you know exactly why you're doing it if that makes sense um but yeah i'm gonna get started on breakfast first of all i'm gonna crack two eggs This is my breakfast plate for the final touch. I'm going to add some turmeric over my egg. I usually do this in the pan already, but I forgot. It's like I mentioned in my last look, I always love adding stuff. So, season the egg with turmeric and paprika powder. Then I also added some sprouts and some arugula and then some cucumber. Over the salmon, I always love drizzling some lemon juice and I always kind of do it over the 
leafy greens as well and then i also like adding an extra drizzle of olive oil or some healthy fats and there you have it if you want other inspiration let me know as well because obviously i know that this one is a bit more extra <laughs> there's definitely more simple ways to eat a savory breakfast i want to show you guys a smoothie recipe that i've been wanting to share for a while actually but i don't know i just always forgot and thought that it would be nice to add into the wellness vlog this is really a smoothie that you can like impress people with <laughs> i'm not kidding it's so good okay first of all one cup of almond milk now this is the most important part of the smoothie you need hazelnut butter not almond butter hazelnut trust me i've made it with almond butter but it didn't turn out as good as it usually does so really hazelnut butter just because it has like a stronger taste i don't know it just makes it so good so i'm gonna do like one tablespoon one frozen banana and then one cup of blueberries and then finally some cinnamon I'll put the recipe in the description. I'm currently sitting by the water. Super cute. By the canal in Amsterdam. I'm in Amsterdam West. I just visited my friend at work and now I'm just sitting by the canal because I wanted to just write a little bit in my journal and reflect on my mood and how I've been feeling lately because I've been like feeling quite overwhelmed and just haven't really been able to live in the moment and like I don't know I just get frustrated really easily lately which I hate but that's why I'm trying to kind of reflect on how I can support myself better and how I can make sure that I actually feel better you know and journaling always helps me with that honestly two things really help me with that one thing is getting out of the house like sometimes you just need to get out of your head and getting out of the house really helps with that like i love going for a walk or just sitting out in the sun sometimes i love journaling right now i'm combining the two things um but i just wanted to share it because i feel like in my vlogs i oftentimes just share like the positive moments in my life and the things that make me happy and it's just that usually when i'm down or i feel frustrated or i'm overwhelmed i just don't really have the mental capacity to vlog but I do think that it's important to acknowledge that I obviously, like any other human, also have down moments and I just wanted to share what helps me. Since I've been using these strategies, my bounce back rate has become much better. And what I mean by a bounce back rate is that I'm able to like tap into a positive mindset again or like I'm able to feel, I'm able to be like more kind to myself much faster than I used to because I will notice that I for example feel frustrated or I will notice that I feel moody or that I feel overwhelmed and then I just know okay what I can do to help myself to feel better and to support myself so yeah that's why I decided to come here I was actually about to go home but I was like no I really just want to take the time to journal and you know feel better i'm just a bit overwhelmed with a lot of things i also didn't tell you guys but i'm going to move after the summer i'm moving to toulouse for the erasmus program and you know obviously planning such a move is a big step and requires a lot of preparation and i think because this process has been going on for these for the past months like it's just this constant stress in the back of my head because i don't even want to get into the details of it but it's just it's a lot of work and then also I've been dealing with grief over the past months and my parents health hasn't been optimal so they needed my support a lot and I was kind of in a go 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 mode and now I'm like kind of noticing the consequences of that anyways thought I would share that I usually don't really share personal things in my vlogs because at the end of the day it is the internet and I feel like it is no one's business without getting into the details of it I just had a lot of like ups and downs especially downs these past months and you know, I just, it's a reminder for myself, but also a reminder for you guys that in those situations, it's so important to be graceful with yourself and to not, you know, beat yourself up and expect too much of yourself. And this is where I'm currently sitting. It's such a beautiful day today because it hasn't been summery in Amsterdam, but like today it's actually pretty and summery. I'm genuinely shook. 
I'm so happy I found this spot. But yeah, I also wanted to include it in the wellness vlog because obviously like taking care of yourself and being kind to yourself and stuff like that is also a part of wellness. And I also wanted to remind you guys because that's something I sometimes struggle with is the trap of like perfectionism in life in general, like wanting to do my best all the time in every area of my life. And I just sometimes need to remind myself that your best doesn't look the same every day. Like one day your best might look like just getting out of bed and another day your best might look like, you know, having an extremely productive day. And I think it's important to be aware that your best doesn't always look the same on every day. And another thing I wanted to share is like something I really learned over these past months is that you just always have to put yourself first and not in a selfish way, but simply because you can't pour from an empty cup, right? There's this saying, I think it's like you can't pour, I think it literally says you can't pour from an empty cup, I'm not sure, but that's really what I've noticed. Like when I was taking care of myself, I was able to show up for everyone and support everyone and do it like with pleasure, you know? And when I was not taking care of myself and not putting my needs first, I wasn't able to show up for the people as much as I wanted to because then I felt burnt out, you know? So it might sound selfish saying like, oh, you always have to put yourself first, but I do think that it's true and I don't think that it is selfish because you know how in airplanes you always have to put your own like um, oxygen mask on first before you put it on others. That also applies in life. That's just something I've noticed. So that's why I also like to take these moments for myself because this definitely helps to pour like into my own cup and gives me joy and then also gives me energy energy to be able to tackle to-do lists and support others just thought i would share that in case anyone has been kind of going through the same thing anyways on that note i'm gonna enjoy my journaling session whilst the sun is still out i think i'm gonna end off the vlog actually because I'm going to Paris next week for a day trip and I want to vlog that and yeah thank you for listening to me thank you for watching this vlog and I hope that I can upload a vlog again next week I have to taken a break from uploading because I was also in the middle of my exam week but um, exams are over so I hope that I can get back to uploading once a week but we'll see I'm not gonna promise anything but I'll try my best anyways love you guys Thank you.